Today I'll be reviewing the K586 RGB mechanical keyboard by Red Dragon. As you guys may know, I am a huge fan of Red Dragon products because they're the best budget tech brand out there and they still produce quality products. This keyboard is one of the cheapest RGB mechanical keyboards out there, so stay tuned for the full review of the K586 keyboard. So first, let's take a look at the keys on this keyboard. It is blue mechanical switches, but they aren't the real blue switches, they're just imitation switches I believe, but they're basically a perfect replica and they have the same clicky feel that we all love. And here's a quick typing test. This keyboard has 104 anti-ghosting keys and also has 12 extra keys so that you can add some macros to these guys for shortcuts. It even has a record button that you could set up for you YouTubers out there. And one reason that I really like this keyboard was that it has a dedicated volume knob. Most budget mechanical keyboards skip that part, but on this keyboard you still have the pause, play, backwards, and forward buttons and even a volume knob, which really sets this keyboard apart from other ones out there. I noticed that Red Dragon used a different font on this keyboard, which I actually really like. The letters are a tad more clear and looks more pleasing. Now let's talk about design. The top of this keyboard appears to be plastic, but that does not mean this keyboard's light by any means. This keyboard is still heavy enough that it won't be moving around on your desk, plus the rubber legs will help eliminate that issue altogether. I was surprised to see the threaded cable on this keyboard, I thought it was a nice touch, especially at this price point. It uses one USB to power this keyboard and it's also gold plated. Another unique feature about this keyboard is the detachable wrist rest. It is really interesting because it uses magnets to hold it on the keyboard. So if you want to take it off, just give it a pull and you no longer have a wrist rest. And if you want it back, just snap it back on. I love this because you don't have to unscrew anything to take it off. So one thing I personally did not like about this keyboard was the texture on the wrist rest. This wrist rest has this triangle texture on it and after a while it annoys my wrist, but some people prefer keyboards this way so they don't slide off. Again, with my big hands this wrist rest just feels awkward to me, but it really depends what you're used to. Another thing I appreciated Red Dragon for was their logo placement. Sometimes they put their logo in weird spots or they just use their text logo instead of this one and it really makes the keyboard look nicer compared to the text logo on some of their cheaper keyboards. Now let's talk RGB. This keyboard is full RGB so you can actually change the colors unlike some keyboards in this price range. The keys get plenty bright enough to see but they're not distracting. It also has some cutouts on the side of the keyboard to let some lighting out of the sides. There are a bunch of different lighting modes and at the end of this video I'll go through all of them. You can make your own lighting patterns on the keyboard and you can customize it further with Red Dragon software for this keyboard. To change color modes on the keyboard, you gotta press the function key with either insert, home, page up, delete, end, or the page down buttons. Each of these keys has several lighting effects with it. Anyways, here's a quick run through of all the lighting effects on this keyboard. Do just what you want.
So that sums up the K586 mechanical keyboard. If you guys are interested in looking at this keyboard closer, I have a link in the description for it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like. And if you want to see some more Red Dragon reviews, find some more videos on my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.